Hi, my name is Joanne Rowe. I'm the Dean of the School of Business at Mega Everett's College. And I'm at the Equity Summit today uh, on the panel of global uh, education and how it impacts our students. I previously did in a short brief uh, video the first question and now I'm going to answer the second question. What challenges do you see students abroad will face in regards to the future workforce? So this one is a big and a tough one. The world and the industry is changing faster than our academy. I think that's well known and well documented. Students will need to focus on the learning process because they will be evolving and transforming for the rest of their working careers. Also, the post-COVID uh, graduate can't assume that they will be entitled to a job. There will be much opportunity for upper level knowledge-based skills jobs, but many of the lower level skill functions will be automated and replicated to AI and other advanced technology. So the real challenge is to stay relevant, stay engaged, and keep listening and learning. Those that do so, uh, so will always have a place either to work or become a job creator. And I'm very focused on entrepreneurship because history has taught us that there are dysfunctions in the labor market for whatever reasons, and we don't need to go uh, 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 over that here, but there is structural unemployment and unemployment for reasons other than performance and preparation. I believe we don't need to accept that. I shared a story, you know, in several of, of the talks that I give about a young man in Bangladesh. He had um, MS and had to stop school because of his medical condition. He focused, he leveraged technology and a skill set. He eliminated the excuses. He produced a viable solo entrepreneurship business that allowed his family to build a home. And he did it by bringing the market to him in his village via the internet since he physically could not leave the village. These are the stories of persistence and determination that resonate in the human existence. The fact is, there is a skill gap problem, not a labor market problem. Our challenge is to have enough students tooled up and ready to go for the jobs and entrepreneurial opportunities that will be available to them in the future of work and entrepreneurship.